welcome in our living room. Welcome. Just checking some recipes. Good. Sonia is checking the recipes to see what I have to cook. <laughs> I'm spoiled. That's how this works here. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Good. We hope that you are fine, uh, that you are healthy, that your family is uh, fine. Um, it looks like uh, everything is uh, going in the good direction, uh, but still, yeah, we cannot do what uh, we are love to do um, because uh, we miss our students. Uh, we've been having uh, receiving some nice feedback of uh, some of our students that created some videos of them dancing. Uh, so if you it was will, really uh, moving, so yes, thank you for merci, that. Merci. So for tonight we have a technique class coming up, but first we say chin chin with our gin and tonic. Okay, so tonight no wine for us. Oh. At the end of the class we come back to those videos, but for now let's start to work. Exactly, let's start to work. So, Sonia, what is this class about tonight? So tonight technique class about backstepping. Last week we were the forward step, so today backstepping and technique class on stepping for us remains important uh, the whole time through your tango training and uh, the way you evolve it remains important why well for me and especially also for Sven but for me the connection with the floor and the connection with the partner are one of the key elements that you need in a correct way of stepping I mean by that if you use the correct technique backward forward stepping then the connection with the floor and the connection with your partner can be optimized and remain exactly so there there's a, those are the three points actually that we were always talking about also last week in the video if you missed that please check that out so the second point actually why we need to keep on working this forever 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 and improving it is because we just want to be balanced uh, we don't want to lose our balance while we are dancing especially in the cross and race with the partner and thirdly, and also a pretty important part of uh, tango, is the musicality. When we are uh, in using a good technique and we are connected with the floor and in good balance, we will be able to react to the music much, much more efficiently. So those three things uh, are yes. really why we focus a lot about technique on the step. So throughout this upcoming 30 minutes, we'll explain you why. Okay, good. Let's start. Now, um, we are going to uh, first, uh, well, without doing anything and explaining anything technical yet, we're just going to make the same picture exercise that we were also working last week forward, but now we'll do it backwards. Yes. So, same picture means, let's make our embrace. So, we're going to have an imaginary partner in front of us. Um, now, when we have the embrace, we always have a line of the elbows, so you can see the line of Sonia's elbows, is always in front of the line of Sonia's hips. So if you have one line and a second line, always this is in front of that. Okay, now what we never want to happen in tango is we never want that line to approach each other. So we never want the chest to move so far back that the line of the elbows goes on the line of the hips. Okay, so now let's make the embrace. And when we step backwards, we don't want to change the distance from the elbows to the hips. So we don't want to go like this to our step, or we don't want to go like this to our step in the end. So let's make the same picture in the beginning as in the end. So this one, okay, now let's make a back step with right, and we do the same picture when we arrive. One more step back, same picture when we arrive. Okay, let's make two forward steps. So, and we make a step. La même, la même photo. Encore un pas en arrière. La même photo. Okay, we go forward. So the forward. same picture, la même photo. Again. And same picture, same picture, same picture. Okay, so we what don't... What do we mean by same picture is that the upper body compared to where we started and where we arrives, it doesn't change. It's the same. So it's the same picture. Exactly. So what we are trying to avoid is we are trying to avoid to change the picture before we make a step, because then we will have a different picture in the end of the step. Or what we try to avoid is to change the picture when we arrive. 
because that's also a different picture, or along the way. So those three mistakes could happen. So what we do is just we push, let's say, one picture to the next frame. So let's go again. We push the same body position throughout and when we arrive. The same body position when we start, when we are continuing, and when we finish the step. We forgot to introduce Tana. The dog. <laughs> Tana is our dog. Good. Now, let's help you a little bit technically with that. How we can actually make it easier and improve, well, easier, I don't know. Maybe we can make it also more complicated. So, now, first things first. What we are going to do, there is two kinds of uh, steps. There is the, the step, the short step or the normal step without too much projection and there is the big step with a big projection. So the difference is when I make a short step, I am just going from this position up to the next position. When I make a step with a big projection, which is actually most of the time always for the followers, we first go to the front of our feet, then we project the free leg, and then we push ourselves into the new step. Those are two kinds of steps, but we will go into more detail about it. So, first, the normal small step. What we will do, shame, shape, shape. We're going to transfer the weight, push the weight of our hip a little bit backwards, so that we can free up the right leg, for example. So, again, let's do that. Push the hip backwards first phase of our step, and then small projection. Let's try that again. Neutral. Push the hip backwards, and then small projection. Okay. Again, push the hip backwards, and small projection. Now, there is two things I'm doing with hip. Backwards, and I will show you now from the front, I go backwards, but I also incline inside the hip. I'm exaggerating, of course, it's not so much as you can see here, but otherwise you won't uh, see it so obviously. So, backwards and incline towards the standing leg. So this is the standing leg and the inclination down is there. So now we can easily free up the leg. So let's try it again. Neutral. So we go back and now incline the hip and then we move our free leg. One more time. So if uh, I show from the profile because sometimes if you see it here it's not clear so the inclination happens like in this part of the hip downwards just complementing on what you that was saying. a lot more clear yes. <laughs> okay let's try just that first part again with the first part of our step so we send the hip we push it to the back of our feet we incline the hip and then we extend our free leg one more time, and then Sonia does the next part. So, we push the weight to the back of our hip, then we incline the hip, we free up the leg, and Sonia, what would we do next? What we do next is we push to go ah, somewhere. Still... Hello, Alexios! <laughs> Good to see you! So, what we are doing, so you have the movement of the hip backward, as Bonsoir, Daniel, explained. Daniel et Etienne. Ah, bonsoir, Daniel et Etienne. So you incline, so you get like an opposition in your body, and then you have the freeing up of the free leg. Now, what most of the followers will want to do is actually follow the free leg. I show you in this way so you can see better. If you follow the free leg, you will notice later what will happen wrong. So I push, I'm in a good position, but I push now, you notice I went a little bit more forward. So the ball of my foot, the front of my foot, is the engine to send me and then I arrive. So if you do it like Sven was proposing you to do, go back to your hip, incline, then free up your leg. Then you go a little bit more forward and you get, you see my knee, it's a little bit more bended. It helps me to push on the ball of my foot and to go to my step. Once I have arrived here, I don't arrive completely with the shoulder because then the picture is gone. The same picture that I had here is different here. So I maintain, I contain and I push on the standing leg, the ball of my standing foot to go to my step 
and then you collect. I hope that is clear. What part of your feet are you pushing when yes. you move backwards? So, when we go backwards, the part of the feet and the projection, during the transfer, what you will need to use also, so I transfer, I transfer, I transfer, I will need to use the heel so that my hip stays in the same inclination as it was here in the first part. So this inclination is transferred all the way until I have arrived. And then you can easily collect. Clear okay. enough? Very good. So there is two ways. For the ladies, you can either lift your uh, front foot. So for the guys, it would be most of the time would be this. So when she pushes the heel, she will lift the toes and then collect like feet down, like nice milonguero step down. Exactly. There is another way that she could do, she could push the heel but keep the contact with the toes. So she pushes now the heel but then she collects and keeps the toes on the floor. Two this ways. Tango de salon style. Exactly. And we try to make both of them in the, in the same way. If in process of learning, adapting this technique to your body, I find it easier to use the first one. Where I really can feel the inclination of my one hip that is here. And then the transfer of the weight here, the inclination, is easy to transfer to the other side. Whereas if I keep it there, I really have to pay attention. But it's possible. The two are possible. Right, exactly. Good. So now, um, let's do the same. Now, um, let's start. So we're going to go to the back of... So we have the embrace. To the back of our feet. Incline the hip. Free up the leg. And now we push off until we reach here. We push the heel. And we finish the same picture. Then we continue. The hip goes back, the hip inclines, we free up the leg, we push the heel, we keep pushing the heel, we free up the leg, and we're in the same picture again. Let's make two forward steps. So we have hip to the back, inclination of the hip, free up the leg, push your heel, keep pushing the heel, and then collect your legs. Same picture. Then the same, push your hip to the back, incline your hip, and push your heel until you arrive. And the same once more, your hip goes back, projection, and step. Just okay. something that can help, don't make big steps. Make yeah. it smaller in the beginning so you get to know uh, how your body works. Exactly, good. Let's try once more. Five, we're a bit faster, so we think all of the parts of our step a bit faster. So we have one, hit back, incline, free, then push, then back, incline, extend, push, and back, incline, extend, push. Okay, good, one more time. Five, six, seven, and hit back, free of the leg, push, hit back, free of the leg, push, hit back, free of the leg, push. Okay, good. Is that working everybody? If you have any questions except for Alexius, please feel free to post them in the chat. <laughs> no, I'm joking, I'm joking. Go ahead, go ahead. <laughs> if good. you're joining us and you never have followed class on Twitter, this is his humor. Yes, exactly. Mm -hmm. So. Uh, exactly. Now, um, when, uh, what, what actually we're going to do next is uh, Sonia was going to explain the references with what we said first. So the three points where we would lose. So if she does something wrong, how it would involve these three points that we said in the beginning of the class that are crucial. It is rare, but it happens to me as well. I do something wrong. And what is happening when you're thinking about connection with the floor and connection with the partner if you're not applying the technique we're suggesting? Well, the first thing that Sven was saying, you went back to the back of your feet and then you had the inclination of the hip, preparation of the free leg. So far, I think most of you will do that. Then, what will uh, generally happen is that you follow up the free leg. If you follow the free leg like it is the engine of your step, look what will happen. I lose my balance, I go backwards, I lose connection with the floor, and my partner who was in front of me, gone. Exactly. So she lost balance. That was one point. 
she lost the connection with me and the floor. And the third point, because all of that, she's not ready to dance with me to the music. I'm too late. Exactly. Because she needs to recuperate herself first in order to continue. Because let's say that she does it wrong, she makes a back step a little bit wrong, she arrives here, I cannot lead the bolero now because she's first me to arrive and then I can lead something extra. Okay? Good. Now, let's try this exercise in the couple. So if you have a partner, please feel free to now practice this together. What we will do, we're going to go three steps forward, three steps backwards. Three step forward, three so steps forward. So both backwards. of us can practice backstepping. Exactly. So we'll, you can try open or closed timbers. One, we'll start. I go forward, she steps backwards. Change your weight and I go forward, backwards, she steps forward. Change your weight. And one, two, three. Change. And one, two, three. Change. One, two, three. Change. And one, two, three. And change. And one, two, three. 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 Change. One more time. One, two, three. Change. And one, two, three. One last time. And one, two, three. Change. And one, two, and the three. And the change. Okay. Now. I hope that is working. If you have any questions, please feel free to write them in the chat. What we have practiced, what we have explained regard actually the normal backstepping size of the backstep. What if the music would invite us to make long steps? Slow, no, long. Slow, long, big steps. What would happen then? Okay, now, we were also practicing this last week with our forward step. So, if I want to, to make a bigger step, I need to prepare a little bit more. Also me, if I want to make a bigger forward step, I need to prepare. I cannot make a huge step from zero. I need to first go look for the energy in the opposite direction to make my forward step. So I need to make some and And I need to help her also with that. So basically what we are doing is I'm bringing her to the front of her feet by going back with my hip. I am actually pretending to make a back step. So I go with my hip back in this inclination, the same as before. So look, it's like I'm about to make a back step. So let's say if I finish the movement, she will actually move forward with me. But just before she starts to step, I make my forward movement. So it's like I go to a back step, but then I move in her direction. Now, what happens to Sonia? Well, what I get is a sensation of falling. So it's like I fall into the embrace. What I have to then think about is that I use the ball of my feet and I bend the knee. Because if I bend the knee, in this moment, I know when, I, when he makes me do this, I know there is a big step coming up and the projection is becoming much more bigger as well, so exactly. larger. Okay. That is very unusual, but ne never I saw that leaders do steps like that backwards. So it's only the part for the follower. But for the leader, it's very important to also understand that part, if you want a bigger step. It could happen in a music like Pugliese, for yeah, instance. Yeah, other music as well, of course. Yes. Good. Now, so let's practice that a few times. So we're going to make one step. So I bring her now to the front of our feet, I go to the back, like I go make a back step, and then I push myself forward, and she will make a bigger step because of that, okay? And then when you want to continue, you just continue, because she's in that position. Again, and she's forward, I go forward towards her, and I make a big step, and another big step. Okay, very, very good. Now, if you have any questions, please feel free to post them in the chat. Let's do the back and forward movement 
once more. And now let's try to add some size to the steps, okay? So you do a few bigger steps forward, and for the leaders, keep the, the back steps normal size, okay? Five, six, seven, and we go back, and then we push forward. One, two, three, change, and one, two, three, change, and go back. One, two, three, change, and one, two, three, change, go back like you are going to make a step. And then one, two, three, change, and one, two, three, change, go back, and one, two, three, change, and one, two, three, and change. Okay. When you practice this at home, make sure as a leader, if you are uh, looking for the large steps, that you maintain the two lines of your leg. Because what easily happens is because you want to give energy is that you go like in a zigzag. Then it's difficult for the follower to maintain the equilibrium because she, I will show you from the back, she will want to use the lines in between the hip. So if you go there, you will actually disembalance her. Yes? Just so you know. Okay, good. Now, um, for the leaders, the interesting part about this backwards with the hip is that it's actually, so it's, it's useful because it's doing many things. So one thing that it could do is I go back with the hip, so I'm prepared to push forward a bigger step. But if I go back with the hip and I continue pushing backwards, she will make a step. So it's the same lead to invite her to step forward, okay? So you have to realize that you, it's very useful to be able to combine that. Um, and you can also pretend that you're going to make a back step and invite her. So it's like, if I continue to move my movement on my hip, she will eventually make a step, even without me making the step. So it could be very useful in tango to lead her a step in a direction that you, and you can stay on the spot. Okay? okay. We have been explaining everything in English. You know, we can also, on peut aussi vous expliquer quelque chose en français, but the time is limited. So if you have any questions, si vous avez des questions dans votre propre langue, n'hésitez pas à utiliser le chat. Exactly. Good. Okay. Let's, uh, well, let's now look maybe at the, the consequence. Ah, we have a question. And you go on afterwards to the stop of the Okay. <laughs> Good. Now, um, let's maybe check uh, how we can use it like uh, in, in a different sense. So, what I could suggest as an exercise that we make forward, forward, okay, and then we make back, back. And once we arrive here, I'm going to invite her to turn into a forward movement. So we get a forward action. So now you will understand the importance of your hip going backwards. So I go back with the hip, one, two, and go back with your hip now to invite her, one, two. Okay, good. When you're in the good position, you will be able to lead her this turn. Take your leg back, and exit. When you go to the wrong picture, she will want to continue. Let me show that. So we go forward, forward, and if I go now backwards and I go with my chest too much back, she will continue the movement, okay? So make sure that your hip moves there. Let's try it. Five, six, seven, and one, two, change, and one, two. Here, I'm able to stop her and turn her. Take the leg back, and exit. One, two, change, one, Two, pivot, collect the lid. One, two, change. One, two, pivot, and the lid. One, two, and one, two, pivot. Okay, good. Now let's make an example for the followers. A back step followed by a small pivot, let's say. So, 
What we're going to do is actually make her do. Uh, I make cross system and I go with left forward. So now I can leave her some options. So she's actually doing back step, arrive, pivot. Back step, arrive, pivot. Back step, arrive, pivot. Okay, let's try that. Everybody together. And side, change, pivot. Back step, arrive, 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 pivot. Okay, now what could go wrong? It's a combination of the two previous technical classes. We had the one on pivot and the one on forward stepping with Sven earlier. What could go wrong? He was about to say something. Oh, I thought you were going to say. So let's say that she changed the picture. Yeah. Before the step. So let's go for the profile. She does a step. And now during the pivot, she changed the picture a bit. And now she makes her back step. So she will arrive here, out of balance. So she's too late. I can no longer read her the pivot. And she will be out of balance because of that. So very important is we are doing the step, the pivot. is still the same picture, but turned. Look, picture, picture. Okay, and then a step, picture. same picture, when she arrived, and then turn, picture. same picture, step, same picture, and turn, step, same picture, and turn, step, same picture, and turn, okay? So, you understand now the importance of this picture exercise, because it's everywhere in the dance, okay? Let's try a few times now. This backward pivot for the followers. And we go one and two and three and four and five and six and seven and okay, I make a back step. One, two, change of weight and one, two. Three, four, five, six. Change of weight, and we make a back step. One, now, two. Let's do it again. The forward stepping for the leaders and backward stepping only for ladies. One, two, three. Change. One, two, three. Change. One, two, three, and. And change. Okay. Well, uh, we suppose that we wrap up for tonight. So we quickly repeat the phases of the backward walking. So what we said was there are two kinds of back steps. One is the one, the normal step without projection. So usually the shorter step, which we will get led on faster music, uh, milonga, so uh, these kind of um, steps. The second kind of step is the step with. With a longer projection, where you get like the sensation of falling forward, and where you use the knee and the ball of the feet to really make your standing leg do the energy and the work. Exactly. Usually for the leaders, we don't do that. Very, very rarely. It's to show the long legs. It's to show the long legs. Okay. Now the second part of the step, so or the first part actually of the step, when when we decide which step we're going to do, is the hip goes backwards. Then another part is the hip inclines. Then we free up the free leg, and then we push to maintain the picture. We to push maintain the picture, and then we use the, the heel. heel to get the inclination again here, um, and you pull it. Right. And then we continue with the same part over and over and over. We also said when you were pushing off that you could use either the heel, the longero still, or you could uh, just maintain there. Keep connection with the floor, and then simply collect it here. Exactly. Or if you would like to make a bigger step for the followers, especially you're going more to the front of your feet. You bend and relax the knees. Whoa! <laughs> bend and relax the knees. And then you have the projection. projection, and then you start the same parts. You push your hip back, and then you continue moving to the new leg. Okay. We hope that was clear. Thirty minutes.
uh, it's very fast to get all of that in there and it's also very difficult to see if you're uh, able to be, be able to do it. Don't forget, uh, you can re-watch this video, you can re-watch the technique video on forward stepping of last week and about two weeks ago we gave some technique on pivoting. All of them, they are remaining available. Exactly. Now, about the videos, some people have sent us some videos. That, thank you, that thank was you. so kind. <laughs> Uh, with uh, them dancing and uh, them saying something, it would be very nice if we could also see you. So make a, like a, a selfie video and explain uh, why you are missing tango uh, and make maybe a video of you dancing with your partner or you by yourself in your kitchen dancing. You can send it through WeTransfer so it's yep. easy for us, for us to download. It would be, it, we really appreciate that kind of gesture Then we know how, it, how you also miss tango as we are missing you guys. So it would mean a lot exactly. if you could uh, Okay, good. Interact. Now, for now, everybody, stay safe. My gin tonic is warm. <laughs> it vaporizes every time. Stay safe, stay healthy, and we hope to see you very, very soon. Thank right, you cheers. for joining again. Bye-bye.